This is a tutorial for people who don't know what IVs are, but if you already know uh, what an IV is or how to look for them, uh, go ahead and skip up to this point. All right, so I've had a lot of people asking me what an IV is. An IV is an individual value for each Pokemon. Now what that means is that every Pokemon can have different stats. So 15 uh, attack, 15 defense, or 15 stamina are the max. Uh, every Pokemon is going to be different. It's like your Gyarados could have perfect IVs and mine could have zero. Uh, which means that in the end, if you level your Gyarados all the way up, it will be way better than mine. Every level it'll get more attack or more defense or more HP, which is really nice because if we both have level 40 Pokemon, yours will be much stronger. So that's the best way to look at it. It's hard to tell when you capture a Pokemon. Usually if it's a lower Pokemon with low stats or low CP and they're very hard to catch, it's, it's very possible that they are a high IV Pokemon. It could change between Pokemon. Each one has a different capture rate, so it's kind of hard to tell. So basically my idea is to just capture as many as I possibly can, come back here, sit down, uh, run my, my program, and just let it automate it and find what I uh, what I is good or what is not. Um, at the same time, it's, it's just a really fun way to get a little bit more out of Pokemon Go. I enjoy it because it's a really fun stat-based uh, game at this point. I want to have the best Pokemon. I want to be the very best. So I want to make sure that I keep all my good ones. Uh, and of course toss the rest ones for, for candies or, or, you know, it's just to have them. Like I said, this is a good way to check which Pokemon are good and which ones aren't. It's a good way to go through and without actually checking individual values, this one's going to automate it so that way you can get along with your day and do whatever you need to do. I'll show a little bit more about what I mean with that here in a second. Alright guys, this is how you download the program. You go to github.com slash canal slash pokeiv and you just go to here to clone or download and download the zip right here. It'll pop up and then it'll look something similar like this. You just go ahead and click in here or you can just copy and then paste this right on your desktop and it'll look something like this. So you go into dist you go down to Pokey IV GUI, uh, which is a graphical user interface. All right, guys. From here, basically all you have to do is put in your password and account information. Bada bum! Here we go. This is everything that uh, is in your Pokemon account, and I'll give you a little rundown of all of this. So basically, this is um, your highest IV Pokemon. And right there is my Flareon, which is awesome. I love it. It's my first perfect one, and I'm so excited. Here is my Magikarp, which I'm going to keep because he's 93%. And this is uh, how many individual values he has for attack, defense, and stamina. There are some other ones out there that will show you 30 over 15, which is just combining the attack and defense together. And here are the moves that they've learned. Uh, like right now, my Flareon has Ember and uh, Heat Wave, and of course, Magikarp has Splash and Struggle. Uh, this shows the, the CP of everyone, and this is the percentage of IVs. So this is obviously perfect, and this is just below perfect. And of course, I have a ton of other ones that are uh, somewhere in the 90s or 80s. So you can filter out everything by just clicking these. So this is alphabetical. This is what, who has the lowest attack or highest attack. Defense, stamina, uh, moves alphabetically, and then you can show which is your highest Pokemon uh, in CP or, or combat power. Um, right now it's my Vaporeon, Dragonite, and Flareon's right there uh, behind him. Alright, so over here is your transfer candidate. It shows you all the worst ones. Like, you can keep ones that you want, but at the same time, um, you, can just, you should just toss them. Um, you can change that by doing a hard minimum, where anything below 80% you want to toss. So, I know that my Dragonite here is my 1749 one. Do not want to toss that one because he's a really good combat one. Um, and a good way to, to alleviate headache and delete ones that you don't want to delete uh, is to turn on display nicknames. Basically just nickname everything you possibly can uh, so that way you do not uh, get rid of your you know good ones. Alright, so also going over here is uh, the available uh, evolutions. And uh, for Caterpie I have one. Uh, Weedle I have four, but I have seven Weedles that I have. Um, Venonat I have at least one evolution that I can do, but I have eight Venonats. And if I transfer out over here, I can have more. So this is kind of a cool count of as to how many you can actually do, which is really nice. And over here is your evolution candidates. 
they're usually the ones that uh, have the highest IVs, um, but also you know the ones that you actually want to evolve. There's nothing by uh, CP. You can always make it by CP. It'll show you which ones would be the highest CP. But at the same time, remember IV is the more important uh, stat. Uh, okay, so I have a Charmander here at 86.67, and I probably should evolve him. But at the same time, I could probably wait. Uh, to evolve a Charmander into a Charmeleon into a Charizard if I just wait to get 125 full uh, candies so that I can evolve them twice. But at the same time, um, this is a really nice one, but I could just wait and I could probably get something better. I mean, I'm going to be out there farming them, so there's a good chance that I'm going to get something above 86.67. So it's a good reason to wait. So let me go ahead and show you how to automate a couple things, which is really nice. This actually kind of helps out because, you know, Pokemon does take up a lot of my time, uh, unfortunately, lately, and I have a lot of videos to edit and a uh, website to run. So what I do nowadays is I will turn on Display Nickname, and I will uh, do Hard Minimum, which everything, like, it'll show my highest IV Pokemon up here all the way down to 80%. As soon as I get to uh, that point, I know that I need to toss the rest of my Pokemon. Basically, at this point, uh, by forcing Hard Minimum and Display Nickname, uh, I see which ones I want to keep, my uh, favorite ones, which I will nickname, or like uh, this one will rename them and, and give me the actual stats so I actually know what they are. So, uh, so it shows here that I have 11 attack, right there, 15 defense, 15 stamina, and 91%. So that is the stats for this specific guy, or my Firo, like whatever. Um, so I'm going to come down to here, and it's going to show me all of the Pokemon that I have between pretty much zero IVs and, uh, you know, 80. Like I said, I don't want to delete my Drogon or any of my, like, this is my Jolteon. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click all of them. Do, 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 do. Come all the way down to here, but I'm going to go, I, I shift-clicked all of them, and I'm just going to control-click uh, the rest of them off. So I'm going to keep the ones that I have uh, name because I know they are my favorite ones. Uh, I could probably toss him, but do do do. And now I just go down to here to transfer, and it's going to automate all of them, which is really really nice because now I can just step away, and it'll continue going through. Uh, it's all client based, so there's nothing that's going to be uh, server based. Um, you can do it while your your game is on, or you can do it uh, without it. Doesn't matter. It's still going to do it anyways, and you're still going to get all of your candies and all of your experience. Um, you don't get any experience from transferring out Pokemon, but you will get all of your your candies. Now over here, uh, this is going to change a little bit. Once it goes through all the automation, it's going to show through and uh, you know it'll, it'll change the counts. Like I could be getting rid of a Caterpie right here on, in, in this section, but I don't know because I don't really pay attention to it because they're all garbage anyways. It's probably like one of these or something. Over here, it's going to change around a lot of the information. I'm just getting candies at this point. I don't really care willy-nilly what I'm getting rid of then it's going to give me all of my candies and going to change my counts. So we'll see how that goes here soon. Alright guys, now that I have uh, all of my stuff transferred, and I still have all the stuff that's sitting over here, um, I'm going to go ahead and look at all of my evolutions. So I know how many I can actually evolve. So I have this Caterpie, a couple of Weedles, a bunch of Pidgeys, a couple of Rattatas, yada yada yada. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to look at all these ones. Uh, before I do that, I also want to uh, check the, the nicknames so I don't evolve something I want to evolve stupidly. Like, that's my Charmander. I know I'm going to hold on to him. I named him Zippo because of the the, the proposed um, Easter egg, but I don't know how exactly specific that one is. But I'm going to hold on to him anyways. So, now I'm just going to go through uh, all of my stuff. Uh, I'm going to do it in reverse order because get rid of all these Weedles. Um, Venonat I don't need anymore. Reditas are junk. Pidgeys. Um, it's only going to allow me to evolve so many Pidgeys because I only have six count. Or, I'm sorry, seven evolutions, but I only have six counts, so it's really going to allow me to do seven or six Pidgeys. Um, I want to hold on to these Oddishes, uh, these Nidorans, Golden Gansley. I probably want to save a little bit more for a Gengar, because I have a pretty decent Hunter, I think. Um, okay, so here I have this Eevee. Um, I probably should evolve him. Uh, he's got some decent stats. 84% uh, isn't bad, but at the same time, I also want to save my candies for my Flareon, uh, so I can uh, level him up a little bit more once I get more Stardust. Charmander I don't want to mess with, and I could totally toss this Caterpie because Caterpies are terrible. Um, and then there's Bellsprout and Abras. I'm going to hold on to those. So now we just basically come down here once we have all of these uh, selected and evolve. These are going to go through, and via client based uh, program, it's going to evolve them. It's never going to show up on your actual game if you're still playing it. 
but at the same time in the background you will still get your experience and you will get your evolved Pokemon so once this goes through I'm going to show you now here in the, in the left and the right to show wh which transfers which I could probably get rid of um, the transfer candidates are always going to show me hey after you evolve them then you could probably transfer them after you got all the experience and all of the the goodies out of them so all right so now that all of that is done uh, I can go back through here and see all of the extra ones that uh, I could probably get rid of you know, just junk that I had evolved and just probably need to get rid of anyway so <clears throat> go back through do it again do 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 grab those grab these and then just uh, control click all the ones you do not want to get rid of Got my foot my, all my fighting Pokemon and just the ones I had already nicknamed so maybe we just transfer those out again easy as that guys so that is basically how you work the IV checker uh, and it's all automated, it's all great, I love it. Uh, it's really given me a lot of time to work on other things so that way I don't have to focus on transferring stuff individually through my phone, which is which is just saving me so much time. Um, and I wish you guys would use it too. Um, it's real simple and I hope this helped out. So thanks guys. Um, and make sure you check us out on uh, 50gamechallenge.com or subscribe to us here on YouTube um, for more Pokemon Go related stuff and video game related uh, tutorials and gameplay. Thanks, guys.